Anyway, on the court now for Belmont. Number two, Mia Ferrari. Number three, Sarah Yu. Number 14, Linda Shang. Number 15, Julia Herlihy. And number 35, Sophia McClendon. McClendon to take the tip for Belmont. And I have no clue. Uh, 25. Brooke Pulpy to take it for Reading. Also on the court for Reading, number 11, Molly Trahan. Number 32, Abby Strong. Number 24, Charlotte Robichaud. And number one, Emma Moore. That should be a statistic. How many tip-offs you can win? That'd be, I feel like that'd be kind of <laughs> cool. That'd be funny. McClendon wins it, and Shang has the ball up top. Shang to Ferrari. Ferrari calls for play. McClendon comes up. Ferrari rejects the screen, hands it off to Shang. Shang to Herlihy. Herlihy can't get the three, and it's rebounded by Redding. Strong wins the ball up the floor. Strong passes to Palpy, who takes the three, nails it. Early 3-0 lead for Redding. Ferrari brings the ball up the floor for Redding. Uh, for uh, Belmont, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ferrari, to you. You to Shang. Shang drives in. Um, can't finish there. Uh, Redding brings it up the floor. Palpy. Passes it strong. Strong takes the three. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Ferrari. Ferrari taking the ball up the floor. Sees Herlihy. Takes a dribble. Passes it to you. Gets it to Ferrari. Can't finish. And it'll be rebounded by Redding. Palpy brings it up. Thinks about the three. Won't take it. Passes it off to Trahan. Trahan to Robichon. Back to Trahan, gets a screen, guarded by you. Passes it off to Pulpy. Pulpy drives in, passes it to Moore. Moore off to Robichaud, Robichaud back, and no basket. And Shang comes away with the rebound. Linda Shang bringing the ball up the floor for Belmont. Shang to you. You thinks about the three, drives in instead, gets the ball to Ferrari. Ferrari drives in to Herlihy, sees the three, takes it, makes it. Herlihy ties the game off a pass from Ferrari. Shang steals the ball. Fakes, goes up with it, and can't finish. Pulpy bringing the ball up, gets by Shang, drives in, passes to Strong, takes a three, and that's Redding six. Belmont three. Timeout, Belmont. Um, we might add that the last matchup between Reading and Belmont ended up in uh, Reading uh, winning the uh, basketball game. Yeah, five-point victory at Reading Memorial High. So Belmont's here trying to correct that loss. And right now they have home court advantage, not only home court advantage, but they are undefeated at home this season. Mm. So Let's hope we didn't just jinx that, but... <laughs> commentate um announcers curse hopefully not um <laughs> uh, but they've been playing really great here so hopefully they're able to uh, maintain that momentum that they've got over the last several games at home and um, harness the energy of the home crowd and be able to come away with a win here right now early belmont down three to running six to three also coach Chantel coming back to the court after not being able to make last game on BYBA night in Winchester due to sickness, so it's nice yeah. to see her back. Definitely. Hopefully she's able to get a win here, first night back from illness. Linda Shang on the inbound. Looks like Ferrari will take it up. Ferrari brings the ball up. Ferrari gets the ball to Shang. Shang to Hurley. He Hurley. He takes the three, and it'll be Reading ball. Pulpy on the inbound. Passes to Robichaud. Who'll bring it up? Robichaud gets the ball back to Pulpy. Can't finish the layup. Out of bounds. Belmont ball.
Shang inbounds it to Ferrari. Ferrari to you. You drives in, gets it to McClendon. McClendon to uh, Shang. Shang, Euro steps, can't finish. Redding comes away with it. Pulpy takes the three. Off the back rim, rebounded by you. Ferrari brings it up. Perlahi finishes the mid-range jumper from Ferrari. Pulpy brings it up for Redding. Ferrari and Hurley definitely showing how they're a dynamic duo on the court and have good chemistry. Thing. I was thinking the exact same thing. Hurley with all of Belmont's points being five and Ferrari having all of Belmont's assists uh, yeah. being two. Um, Redding scores and Ferrari brings the ball up. She'll probably try and get it to Hurley down low. Ferrari and Hurley definitely two players that complement each other's games very mm -hmm. well. Ferrari drives in, scores the layup. Ferrari demonstrating, though, that she can score on her own <laughs> as well. Robichaud guarded by McClendon. Switches on to Shang. And it's a three. Trahan. Oh, that's a good shot. Redding on fire from three. Yeah. Ferrari brings the ball up. McClendon wants it. She'll get it. Gets it to Hurley. Hurley to Shang. Shang to McClendon. Sets the screen. McClendon takes a really hard shot. <laughs> and she'll go to the line with three. Um. Oh. Mm, wait a minute. That can't be right. I believe. Foul is on the floor, apparently. Don't know how that happened, considering he called it after the shot. But anyhow, you on the inbound. A uh, foul was on uh, Reading number one Emma Moore. It's inbounded to Shapazian, who has come in for Shang. Shapazian to you. You to Ferrari. Ferrari drives, passes to Hurley. Hurley down low to McClendon. Can't finish. Rebounded by Redding. Pulpy brings it up for Redding. Off to Strong. Strong down low to Pulpy. Guarded by you. Double teamed. Gets it out to Strong. Strong takes the three. And that bounces Gets the in. bounce. Delmont is now down by eight. 15 to seven. Ferrari brings the ball up the court. It's a screen from Hurley. Shapazian comes up with it to McClendon. Thinks about the three. Drives in instead to you. You out to Ferrari. Ferrari working her way in. Loses her dribble. Gets it to Shapazian. Shapazian blocked and it'll be pulpy to bring it up for ready strong for three not there this time and it'll be reading basketball in for sarah U, number 10 amy saukinen And in for Reading, number 13, Caitlin DeRosa. Strong has it, though. Passes to Pulpy. Pulpy down low, and it's thrown out. But it'll be uh, knocked uh, off a Belmont player, be Reading ball. Ball's in, and poked away by Ferrari. Ferrari to Saukinen, takes the two. Off the rim, and Redding recovers it. Almost poked away by Shapazian. Palpy passes down low. Back out, back to Palpy. Thinks about the three, fakes it, drives in instead. Unable to score, rebounded by Ferrari. Ferrari to McClendon. McClendon thinks about it, steps back. Unable to make the three. Belmont triple teaming, timeout. Reading. I feel like that wasn't the best shot. Um, definitely a tough shot, especially with the step back. Yeah. 
but nevertheless, Reading comes into this timeout with the eight point lead over Belmont. Yep, strategic timeout by Reading's coach. Um, would have lost the ball there otherwise, or you know, it was a risky, risky situation. Smart, smart timeout call. We've seen Belmont definitely have some slow starts like these, but we've also definitely seen them speed up and pick up uh, their game as the game progresses. Yeah, and I think that's a really important part of just being able, even of a basketball team, if they're not able to start quick, should be able to, you know, get over that. Um, don't dwell on mistakes of the past and just be able to get out there and play some good basketball, try and go on a run. Right now, in for Belmont, Number two, Mia Ferrari. Number 10, Amy Saukinen. Number 12, Ryan Shapazian. Number 15, Julia Herlihy. And number 34, Becca Christensen. One minute, 23 seconds to play in the first quarter. Reading 15, Belmont 7. Robichon bringing it up for Reading. Ferrari guarding her. Herlihy on strong. Saukin on Palpy. It's off to Robichaud. Stolen. Um, Redding maintains possession strong, takes the three. Oh, unlucky Loco. this time. Can't no get rebound, the but Hurley, he picks it off. Off to Shapazian. Shapazian crosses, drives in, passes to Hurley. He. Unable to finish, but Saukin with the rebound and the putback. Belmont cuts Redding's lead to six. Robichaud will bring it up the floor. Robichaud passes to Moore. Moore drives in. And that'll be travel. Belmont ball. On the inbound, Shapazian to Ferrari. Ferrari bring it up the floor. Ferrari guarded by Oliver Dria. And it's to Christensen. Christensen. Driving in, almost gets it through <laughs> Moore's legs. Uh, 16 seconds left in the quarter. Foul is on Reading number one, Emma Moore. Belmont's definitely gonna try and see if they can cut the lead here. Don't know if they'll take a two or a three, probably whatever comes up for them. Salkin on the inbound. Gets it to Christensen. Misses the shot. Oh. And Redding has it with 10 seconds to play. Palpy. What was that? <laughs> okay. Maybe it'll work out in Redding. And uh, no, it's not going to work out. At the end of the quarter, Redding 15, Belmont 9. Bit of a slow start to Belmont, but we're able to have a good defensive stop there to prevent uh, any further um, extension of Reading's lead. How much homework do you have tonight? Um, tonight, I think I don't have too much homework, though. I, although I do believe I have some quizzes and tests coming up. Uh, how about you? We just finished midterm. Who's giving you quizzes and tests? <laughs> uh, I won't name names. <laughs> No, I did most of it already. Um, I did my biology notes. Uh, then, uh, how were those? They were long. 27 slides worth, actually. 27? Yeah. Oh, no. All about transcription and translation of DNA. But no, lots of fun, of course. Um, oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Anyhow, we're back in here with uh, the start of the second quarter. Reading 15, Belmont 9. On for Belmont, number two, Mia Ferrari, number 10, Amy Saukin, and number 12, Ryan Chapazian, number 15, Julia Herlihy, and number 34, Becca Christensen. It'll be Belmont's ball. Um, maybe it's Reading ball. Who won the tip? I couldn't tell you. 
No, you know what? I think they do it differently with how they do jump balls in high school, if not NBA rules uh. or WNBA rules for that matter. Redding inbounds, and Robichaud will bring it up, guarded by Ferrari. Paul be guarded by Saukinen. Redding trying to make something happen at the top. That's about it. Passes it off to Strong. Thinks about the three. Passes the ball instead. There's another pass. Redding getting moving the ball around. As the shot clock is winding down, Strong looks to do something with the ball. Working in on Christensen. Takes the hard shot. And is rebounded by Christensen. Off to Saukinen. And that didn't look like a travel to me, but apparently it's a travel on Belmont number 10, Amy Sakonen. Well, we know not to argue with the refs because the refs, um, <laughs> uh, if you argue with the refs, you're, you're not going to like you, no. and that could lead to more no, Their call misfortune. is final. No, no challenging in the high school league. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Good defense by Belmont here. Strong has it, though. Makes the pass. Good job by Redding to get out of trouble. Yeah, definitely. There's some good thinking there for Redding. Ferrari will bring it up for Belmont, down eight. Redding nearly at a double point lead, but hopefully Belmont can uh, close that gap. Yep. Salkinen maintains possession, crosses, and that's a foul. Somehow Redding looks stunned. <laughs> uh, the foul is on. Reading, number 25, Brooke Pulpy. For Belmont, number 35, Sophia McClendon. In for Amy Salkin. I must say, number 32 on Reading, Abby Strong. Definitely seems to be Reading's uh, sharpshooter, or definitely three-point taker. Playing like Nikola Jokic, doing just about everything there for her team. Mia Ferrari takes a three. In and out. Rebounded by Reading. Pulpy will bring it up. Passes it, gets it to the corner, back to Palpy. Palpy takes the three. And Strong saves it, but it's the Ferrari. Ferrari brings the ball up for Belmont. Down eight. Does that count as a steal? Just wondering. <laughs> if uh, yes. Ferrari scores off an assist from Hurley. Belmont switching defenders. McClendon comes up to guard Robichaud. It's off to Palpy, guarded by Shapazian, now strong, guarded by Herlihy. Down low to Palpy. Rebounded by Christensen. Ferrari brings the ball up. Ferrari to Christensen, takes the three. Off the rim. Rebounded by Strong. Strong to Palpy. Belmont needs to get a stop here. Yep. Palpy guarded by McClendon. Tries to hand it off to Robichaud, picked away by Ryan Shapazian. Shapazian to Herlihy. Herlihy to McClendon. McClendon, 1v1. Re rebounded by Shapazian. Good hustle, but it'll be Redding. Um, Julia Herlihy and Becca Christensen subbed out, and Gabby Orfanos and Emily Donahue subbed in. Belmont seem to be utilizing all their players, trying to get a rotation, it seems. Yeah, making sure everyone's able to get in there, contribute. Um, and Ryan Shapazian steals the ball. It's up to Sophia McClendon, scores the easy layup. Belmont down by four now. As Robichaud will bring the ball up. Guarded by McClendon. Takes the three. Rebounded by Shapazian. Shapazian to Ferrari. Ferrari to McClendon. Takes another long three. The Redding ball. Shapazian definitely playing very well in these last few possessions. Uh, getting some steals and important stops for Belmont, as well as supplying assists for her teammates. Definitely important part, uh, making sure her whole team is involved and helping get offense started. Meanwhile, in for Mia Ferrari, number 14, Linda Shang. And <laughs> the crowd a bit unsure with that call <laughs> as we hear some. <laughs> some O's. 
Uh, foul is on Belmont, number 13, Emily Donahue. Uh, last game, girls won pretty handily. Uh, Linda Shang went down early with a um, bit of an ankle injury, but was able to come back and uh, help her team win. Uh, she might be playing on limited minutes this game due to that ankle injury, and we can see that it might be hurting Belmont a little bit here uh, as they're down by four. Definitely missing her scoring, um, but more than anything, I think, her perimeter defense as she was able to rack up nine... Uh, nine, <laughs> nine. That would be a lot. Nine steals total so for what we've counted, but six steals last game, uh, which is still a very good number. On the floor for Belmont right now, Donahue, Shang, McClendon, Orfanos, and Connolly. Well, you know what? Shout out to uh, Sargas Asadorian for definitely keeping our athletes healthy, checking in on us, and just uh, whenever we have problems, just being there. Yeah, he really makes sure that all the athletes are kept in tip-top condition, um, tries his hardest to make sure that even athletes with a little minor injury can play safely. Um, and that there is a travel on Linda Shang. She can't believe it. Definitely thought she didn't travel there, but three steps is a travel. That was no gather step on that. <laughs> right has the ball. McClendon guarding Pulpy up top. Uh, Robichaud up top, rather. Pulpy's got it. And Donahue pokes the ball away. Shang on the rebound. Dribbles out instead of going up for the layup. See the three passes to McClendon instead. McClendon can't finish the three. Rebounded by Redding. And we're off here. Pulpy's got the ball. Sees Strong. Strong takes the three. Oh, Nails it. He's another a sharp one. shooter. Redding now up 21-13. McClendon takes a short two. Won't fall. Rebounded by Redding. Pulpy brings it up. Robichon able to finish. Rebounded by Donahue. Donahue gets it to Shang. Shang gets the screen. To Orfanos. Orfanos hands it off to Shang. Almost loses it. Shang. Working one on one on Robuchon. Trying to organize her offense. Great pass to Donahue. Unable to finish though. And Redding has it. That looked like a double dribble to me. Anyhow, almost stolen by Donahue. Redding maintains possession. And that was a defensive breakdown for Belmont um, as Redding easily drives to the basket and scores. Two minutes, 40 seconds to play in the first half. Good recognition by the Redding player to just see the open space and just drive into it. Definitely got to take advantage of that when it comes, um, especially against what is typically a pretty good Belmont defense, seeing that opening. Great vision by the Redding players. McClendon has it. Drives in. Unable to finish, and Redding maintains the ball and the rebound. Strong will bring it up the floor. Pulpy's got it. Robichon. Number, of 11, number 11 of Redding seeming to have a bit of a limp. Hopefully she's all right. Heads off the floor for number 14, Stella Harrington. Foul on the floor, foul is on Belmont, number 35, Sophia McClendon, her first personal. Ball's in. It's off to Robichon. Gets a screen. Shang's on her. Connolly now guarding. Let's drive. Out to Palpy. Palpy drives in. Again, wide open. Ready. Um. Redding. Belmont having a bit of a hard time covering the space in the paint. Definitely. Redding's really been able to make use of uh, Belmont's gaps. Donahue can't get it to fall, and Redding will get the rebound. One and a half minutes to play. That should have been a kickball. And that's a foul on Belmont number 13. Emily Donahue, second personal. Running on the inbound. Shang guarding the inbounder. Pulpy gets it in. It's handed off to Pulpy. Shang guarding her. 
McClendon picks the ball away. Scores the easy layup. Belmont cuts the lead to 10 with one minute and 15 seconds of play in the half. A run could really help Belmont right now heading into halftime. Deep three. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic shot from um, Abby Strong of Reading. Chang almost loses it. Passes it to you. It's like her... I mean, Strong's like fourth yeah. three of the game. Sarah, you drives in and gets an easy floater. Strong, definitely uh, being the main superstar here for Redding. You can hear Belmont's bench getting into the defense, hyping their teammates up. And Shang steals the ball, but then loses it. Strong. Passes it up to Palpy. 15 seconds of play. Palpy's got it. Reddy's going to take their time and wait till the last second for the shot. Blocked by Herlihy. Uh, and there is a foul on the play with zero, zero, zero seconds left on the clock. Players to their benches, and Brooke Pulpy will shoot for Redding. Two shots. Um, fouls on Belmont number two, Mia Ferrari. First one is good for Pulpy. And the second one as well. At halftime, Reading 30, Belmont 17. On the floor for Belmont, number two, Mia Ferrari. Number 14, Linda Shang. Number 15, Julia Hurley. Number 12, Ryan Shapazian. And number 35, Sophia McClendon. I think something we should mention is just uh, Reading's defense. Um, they're actually holding um, Belmont to uh, only 17 points in the first half, and Belmont's usually a pretty high-scoring team. So, Especially at home, they've scored over 60 multiple times, so doubly impressive beat here for Reading, being able to contest shots for Belmont, uh, preventing them from scoring high numbers. Meanwhile, Ferrari's got the ball, passes to Hurley, Hurley to Shapazian. Shapazian, McClendon. McClendon spins, passes to Hurley, Hurley to Shapazian. Shapazian drives in, passes it out to McClendon. McClendon takes the three off the back rim. And out of bounds, Reading ball. Pulpy on the inbound, Robichaud has it. McClendon guarding her. Pulpy back, comes out. Thinks about it, doesn't take it. Pulpy contested well by McClendon, but fell asleep on the rebound. And it's a rebound by Ferrari. Ferrari to McClendon. McClendon to Shang. Shang sets up the three, unable to make it, but it's rebounded by Shapazian. Shapazian back to Shang. Shang to McClendon. Takes the three off the rim. Threes are not falling for Belmont tonight as Redding is unable to score, but Pulpy gets the rebound and puts it back in. Redding 32, Belmont 17. Ferrari brings it up for Belmont. Down to Hurley, back to Ferrari. Great chemistry there between the two of them. Ferrari scores off the pass from Hurley. Redding bringing the ball up, guarded by McClendon. Robichaud drives in, passes to Tran. Tran guarded by McClendon, out to Strong. Strong, been one of the best players on the floor tonight, definitely. Pulpy up top, guarded by McClendon. Passes to Trahan, who gets by Shang and scores. 
Good off the ball movement by Redding. Definitely. Really helping them um, take a huge lead in this game here. Redding by 15. Hurley misses the three and Trahan on the rebound. Strong is calling for it. And uh, McClendon with the, takes the ball away. Ferrari, Ferrari off the back rim. Gets a steal, though, and scores the layup. See, there's use in doing those old layup drills, those little miking drills. If you find yourself under the basket, score. Um, Belmont down 13. Five minutes to play in the third. Zhang guarding Palpy. Timeout. Reading. Interesting place to call a timeout. They had a little bit of momentum there. Still up a lot. Maybe Reading's going to take um, a defensive approach to this game, having a 13 point lead already. That'd be a smart thing to do, especially they've already been playing really good defense. So maintaining a defensive oriented game strategy would uh, help them not only maintain their lead, but probably extend it too um, if they're able to force some good turnovers fast break points, things like that. Um, what do you think is not working here for Belmont? Because usually at home, uh, and even just this team, they'd be up n not necessarily by a huge amount, but they'd be scoring more points than just 21 through um, two and a half quarters. I think we've talked with some of the Belmont players in school, and uh, a good amount of the team is sick, and uh, Belmont does have some injuries, so it's definitely showing um, its impact on the court right now. That's true. Yeah, sickness, injury, morale could be low uh, due to those things. So hopefully they'll keep their spirits up here. Five minutes to go in the third on the court for Belmont. Number 14, Linda Shang. Number 12, Ryan Shapazian. Number 2, Mia Ferrari. Number 15, Julia Hurley. Number 35, Sophie McClendon. Brooke Palpy on the inbound for Redding. Ball is in. Trahan's got it. Passes to Robichaud. Trahan up top, on to Shang. Palpy takes the three, rebounded by Shang. Shang passes to Hurley. steps into the three, and it's off. And that stays with Redding. Strong for three, <laughs> almost, almost got stuck. stuck, and that's a foul. Foul is on Redding, number one, Emma Moore. In for Julia Hurley, number 13, Emily Donahue. Ferrari brings the ball up for Belmont. Shang's got it at the top of the key, gets the screen from Donahue rejects it, passes to McClendon. McClendon drives in, takes the hard shot, and finishes. Cuts the lead, cuts Redding's lead to 11. Redding bringing the ball up the floor. It's a pass into the corner. Donahue playing good defense, back to the top of the key with Palpy, Shang on her. Palpy drives in, passes it to Trahan, who's able to finish with the layup. Ferrari brings the ball up for Belmont. Goes outside the three-point arc, passes to Donahue. Donahue takes the hard shot, unable to finish. Rebounded by Redding, Shapazian playing full court defense, and Palpy will bring it up. Palpy hands it off to Robichaud, who's guarded by McClendon. Switches on to Shang. And that's a finish. Reading 38, Belmont 23, timeout Belmont. Hopefully Belmont can reorganize themselves in this huddle and uh, try to figure out um, a way to just uh, change the ties of the game. Yeah, I think it's important for them to try and change the tone of the game. Uh, right now it's kind of like no one's really going on runs, but Reading is consistently playing great defense, and um, they're able to... 
Um, also, just score on Belmont's defense, which has not been the best today. Again, due to a variety of reasons. Uh, note that uh, Julia Hurley he was subbed off just um, not not long before the timeout, and is now gone to the training room with our great athletic trainer Sarkis Hesedorian. So hopefully she's all right. Um, and here at the end of the timeout on the floor for Belmont, we have number 10 Amy Salkinen, number two Mia Ferrari, number 35 Sophia McClendon, number 13 Emily Dunn here. Did I miss anybody? Inbound for Belmont, Shapazian will inbound the ball, and Ferrari will bring it up. Ferrari passes the ball to Shapazian. Shapazian to Donahue. Donahue drives in, out to Salkinen. Salkinen drives in, takes a hard shot, and is fouled. She'll head to the line with two. Is this our first time seeing free throws? Um, for Belmont. Is this our first time seeing free throws for Belmont? Hopefully Belmont can. Yeah, my, yeah I think it is. Um, there was that earlier foul on on Sophia McClendon that was ruled on the floor that should have been shooting as Selkinen hits her first. Um, but that was on the floor. So, yes, Selkinen makes the first free throw for Belmont today. Another thing, I guess, um, not necessarily that... Um, Reading has been playing particularly cleanly, but all the fouls that they've committed um, have been on the floor and not on the shot. So um, that is helping them as well as they've not um, caused Belmont to take many trips to the line. Zalkinen on the inbound. Inbounds it to Ferrari. Ferrari to Donahue. Donahue drives in. Donahue to Salkinen. Salkinen maintains possession. Back to Donahue. Donahue drives in again. Fouled. And one. Getting the bench all riled up. Excited. Emily Donahue will head to the line with one. Abby Strong is back in for Reading. One shot for Emily Donahue. Is off. And rebounded by Reading. Good pass out by um, Palpy. And Robichaud is at the top. Guarded by McClendon. Passes to Palpy. Tries to get the pass. Can't get it. Drives in instead. Scores the layup. Good take by Palpy. Reading 40, Belmont 26. Ferrari brings the ball up the floor. Drives in. Scores the tough layup. Heading Reading's lead to 12. And that was a defensive breakdown. No defense there. Ferrari brings the ball up for Belmont. <clears throat> Salkinen. Salkinen and McClendon. McClendon. Spin. Unable to finish, though. Robichaud brings the ball up to Palpy, guarded by McClendon. Palpy passes it off. Shapazian comes up to guard, and it's saved by Palpy. Another defensive breakdown for Belmont as Redding's able to find the weakness in their defense and um, score. Wait, did they have the points to Belmont by accident? <laughs> Um, um. No. Hmm. They just didn't add it to anyone, I don't think. Um. Oh, big three by Mia Ferrari. Mia Ferrari hits the three. Um, great shot by her, and that cuts the lead to only eleven. Even though it seemed like Belmont's really been, um, throwing some opportunities away here, particularly on defense. <laughs> Still only a 13, well, 13 point game. That's pretty bad. Anyhow, Palpy drives in again. Unable to finish this time, though. Ferrari's got the rebound. I guess they did get points to Belmont. Uh, Ferrari drives in. Oh, off the front rim. Rebounded by Strong. Almost taken away by Salkinen. And it's passed off to Robichaud. Bring it up. 
McClendon's guarding her way up. Ferrari definitely trying to lead her team right now with 13 points and four rebounds and three steals. Definitely. Ferrari guarding Tran. Tran gets by. Almost loses it. Passes it Palpy. Thinks about the three fakes. Shot clock violation. Oh, never mind. That was the quarter. Boy, time really flies, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Belmont's going to have to pull something off in this final quarter to hope to take the win. Yep. At the end of the third quarter, Reading 44, Belmont 31. Tough, tough, tough game so far for Belmont. Um, what do you think Coach is saying right now to the team to get them um, motivated to come back here in the fourth? Uh, I'd assume, like, she's probably trying to tell her team just – Hey, let's keep our heads in this game and like let's avoid turnovers, no sloppy mistakes, and the points will come. Yeah, I think the sloppy mistakes um, are hurting Belmont a lot here. Defensive mistakes, um, particularly, um, I think are really what might be doing them in. So, uh, if they're able to prov um, not not make those mistakes and maybe get some offensive runs going here, then uh, they might have a successful quarter. The start of the fourth. Belmont 31, Reading 44. On the court for Belmont, number two, Mia Ferrari. Number 12, Ryan Shapazian. Number 14, Linda Shang. Number 13, Emily Donahue. Number 21, Brent Connolly. Brooke Palpy on the inbound, Shang guarding it. And that is a five second violation, turnover. On Reading, Belmont ball. Shang on the inbound. Shang inbounds it to Ferrari. Ferrari looking to lead her team to a comeback. Passes to Connolly. Connolly to Shapazian. Shapazian to Shang. Shang hands it off to Donahue. Donahue drives in, passes it out to Connolly. Connolly takes the three. Saved by Shang. Shapazian. Back to Shang. Shang thinks about the three, passes it to Conley instead. Conley holds on to it. And it'll be a turnover. Redding has the ball. Strong, and that's out of bounds. It'll be Belmont's ball. Shang on the inbound. Reading coach definitely being vocal about something. I couldn't quite pick it up, but yeah. Looks like everybody's being vocal about something. <laughs> yep, refs are talking. Refs are talking, players are yelling, coaches yelling. Shang on the inbound. Ferrari brings it up. Ferrari crosses half court. Donahue comes up to set her a screen. Unable to use it. Ferrari passes it to Shang. Shang to Donahue. Donahue to Connolly. Thinks about the three drives in instead. Out of bounds, Reading ball. Seven minutes to play in the fourth. Shapazian. Guarding up high. Robichaud drives by, and that's offensive foul. Um, Belmont ball. Reading coach a little bit worked up about the foul. Up 13. Ferrari has the ball, looking to make a comeback for her team. Passes to Shapazian. Shapazian. Spins around strong. Drives in. That, strong. That bucket. looked like an and one to me. 44-33. Um, Reading in the lead. Belmont nearing um, a less than 10 point lead. Good passing by Reading. Shapazian bringing it up the floor. Again, Belmont's defense unable to stop um, Reading's offense. Ferrari at the top of the key passes it to Shang. Shang drives in. Euro steps. Can't finish. 
And that's a foul on the floor. And the Redding coach is yelling about something. Foul is on Redding number 32, Abby Strong. Under six minutes left in the game now. Emily Donahue and Mia Ferrari come off for Julia Hurley. And Sophia McClellan. <laughs> the Redding coach is really trying to make a, a statement about something. Clearly, she must forget she's up 13. You know, you, know, you always want to <laughs> better safe than sorry. Perhaps. But remember what we were saying earlier, there's no review in high school, so that mm. call is not going to be changed. Chapazian has it at the top, passes to McClendon, thinks about the three jabs instead, passes to Hurley. Hurley makes the pass, gets it to Shang. Shang passes to Chapazian. Chapazian and McClendon. Belmont seeming a bit frantic. Shot clock winding down. Hurley, he takes a three. Chapazian's able to recover it, though. Shot clock uh, resets. Shang driving in, passes to McClendon. No basket, unable to finish it. Uh, double team by Belmont, though, and that's a foul. Foul is on Belmont, number 21. Bryn Connolly, her first personal. Timeout. Belmont, I think. Belmont still is not able to get anything much going here. Mm -hmm. Down 13 with five and a half minutes to play in the game. We talked about what we think Belmont's uh, talking about, but what do you think the uh, Reading team's talking about right now? I think really they're just, uh, their coach is probably just emphasizing, um, you know, being able to maintain that strong defense that they've had. Um, you know, they've been able to really prevent Belmont from scoring on some, uh, on some crucial plays. I think also probably um, Reading coach would want her team to slow things down in the backcourt, make sure that they're getting good looks, and just all around um, able to um, play smart here to close out the game. On for Belmont. Uh, number 15, Julia Hurley. Number 14, Linda Shang. Number 21, Bryn Connolly. Number 35, Sophia McClendon. Number 12, Ryan Chapazian. Robichaud bring it up for Redding with 5 minutes and 19 seconds to play. Guarded by McClendon. McClendon almost pokes it away. Robichaud maintains her possession. Pass to Pulpy up top. Shang guarding her. Pulpy guarded well by Shang, but it's out to... Uh, Strong, who can't finish. No rebound there, though. No boxing out on that play. Palpy passes it off to Robichaud, who hits the three. Belmont down by 16 now. McClendon gets the floater to fall. If I were Belmont, I'd think about playing a full court press here. Might need it. Robichaud makes space, passes to Pulpy instead. And that's out of bounds. Belmont ball. In for Belmont, number three, Sarah U, number two, Mia Ferrari. Ferrari brings the ball up. Hurley, he comes up to set a screen. Ferrari rejects it. Passes to McClendon instead. McClendon's step back is blocked. McClendon taps it away, though. Good shot by McClendon. Four minutes to play. Shang on Palpy. Taps it away. Unable to get the steal, though. Trahan drives in, almost tapped away again. Trahan sees the three, misses again, no rebounding. Aww. No rebounding, no boxing out. That's what'll kill him today. 
Uh, Redding makes it work, though. Redding passes 50. Ferrari, top of the key. Shang, passes down low to McClendon. That's a foul. McClendon will head to the line with two. Three minutes, 23 seconds to play in the fourth. Reading 51, Belmont 37. Foul is on Reading, number 25, Brooke Pulpy. McClendon, her first shot. No good. And then on her second shot is good. Reading 51, Belmont 38. Reading looking to score here and increase their lead. Palpy drives in, poked away, but they maintain possession. Reading definitely holding onto the ball, just running the clog down. Definitely, that would be the play here. Shang on the rebound. Oh, that looked like a foul to me. I don't know about that. Um, travel on number 14, Linda Shang. Looked more like a foul to me, but what do I know? The refs call it final. Uh, and in for Belmont, number 13, Emily Donahue. And number 12, Ryan Shapazian, I think. Did you see that? No. I, I, I wasn't looking at that part of the court. Foul is on Belmont, number 35, Sophia McClendon. Second personal foul. Two minutes, 48 seconds to play. Reading ball. Ball is in. Pulpy has it. Driving in. Passes out. Not quite as big a presence from Abby Strong in the second half here as there was in the first. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think her she needs to have a massive presence in the second half considering the lead she built. Yeah, in the yeah. First. Uh, out of bounds, running ball. Two minutes and a half to play in the fourth. Reading seems to just be sitting in Belmont's half right now. The refs will talk again. In for Redding. Trahan's got it. Guarded by Ferrari. Passes up top to Robichaud. McClendon's a gardener. Down low to Moore. That was a block. Fouled by Hurley. Uh, foul is on Belmont. Number 15, Julia Hurley. Um, Emma Moore will have two shots at the line. Moore increases Redding's lead to 14. In for Belmont, number 22, Gabby Orfanos for Sophia McClendon. Shapazian brings the ball up. Ferrari can't finish the three, and Trahan gets a rebound for Redding. Brings the ball up to Robichon. Palpy wants a three. Doesn't take it, though. Guarded by Orfanos. Drives in. Can't finish. Jump ball. Belmont. In for Julia Hurley. Number 34, Becca Christensen. 
Two minutes to play in the game. Shpajan inbounds to Ferrari. One last ditch attempt to win. Ferrari to Shapazian. Someone in the crowd yelling handoff. <laughs> Shapazian drives in. Out of bounds, it'll be Belmont. A lot of yelling going on this game. Mm. Donahue on the inbound for Belmont. Gets it to Christensen. Christensen to Shapazian. Shapazian to Donahue. Donahue to Christensen. Christensen almost loses it, holds on to it to Orfanos. Orfanos to Shapazian. Shapazian to Ferrari. Shot clock winding down. Ferrari takes a floater, makes it. Ferrari reaches 15 points with that, actually. It's just about the only person holding Belmont together here in this game. Um, her and uh, Julia Hurley, the dynamic duo here. Um, Gabby Orfanos fouls uh, Brooke Pul Pulpy, and uh, that is her first personal foul. One minute to play in the game. Inbound ready. Someone from the stands yelling. <laughs> One minute. Pulpy up top. Don't know if she'll try and extend the lead or not. Orfanos comes up on her, though. Back to Pulpy. Back to Strong. Strong to Moore. Back to Strong. Strong sees the three. Passes it up instead to Robichaud. Back to Pulpy. Shot clock winding down. Drives in. Passes out to Trahan, and that's a turnover. Belmont will have it with 30 seconds to play. Shot clock is off. This will probably be the last play of the game, or at least... Last attempt for Belmont to get some points up on the board. Yep. Ferrari brings it up once more. Orfanos decides to take the three and nails it. Maybe they should have played her more. 15 seconds left to play. Almost turned over by Redding. And there'll be a backcourt violation. Or, sorry. Not sure. Yeah, backcourt violation, Belmont ball. Four seconds of play. Shapazian on the inbound. Donahue drives in. Unable to score at the buzzle, buzzer. Final score in Belmont. Reading, 53 Belmont 43. It was a tough game um, for Belmont. Reading was really able to um, use their great defense to prevent Belmont from scoring as much as they would. Reading improved their record to 9 and 4 on the season, and Belmont falls to 10 and 5. Uh, top scores for Belmont um, Mia Ferrari with 15, and Sophia McClendon with 11. Um, thank you for joining us tonight, and have a good evening.